I've been saying Baptiste this whole time. It's Batiste. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ellie and welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the month where it is time for empties because I have all of this garbage that I need to throw out and I want to show you what is in it. So this is all body stuff and hair stuff and shower stuff and it's a nice mix. I don't have any makeup in here so it's not one of those makeup ones but it's a lot of interesting stuff and I think you will enjoy it. So let's jump into this thing. Let's see what I have emptied this month. The first thing I'm pulling out here are two Aveeno body washes. These are both Aveeno Nourishing Body Washes in Stress Relief slash Calming. Both of them have lavender, chamomile, and ylang-ylang, so they're very, very similar. And this one's more expensive than this one, and you get less in here than you do in here, so I don't really know what the difference is. This one's for stress relief, this one claims to be calming. I find them both to be very similar, and I would probably repurchase this one rather than this one. However, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase them either way. For me, they're nice, but I don't think they're anything special. I used them both up, and they were nice while they lasted, but I just don't really have anything terribly special to say. I don't think that they were amazingly calming. You know, Aveeno is one of my very favorite skincare brands, but these weren't anything too terribly impressive. So, moving on. The next thing I'm pulling out of here is the Vaseline Spray and Go Moisturizer. This is the Oat one, and I absolutely love this stuff. I have two more of these already because I got them in a three pack, and I love them because it's just a spray moisturizer. So, I use this on my legs. This one's almost gone, but let me see if I can shake it enough. You just spray it, and then you're moisturized. So, it goes on your hand or your leg or whatever you're doing, and usually I use this on bigger areas of my body. I'll use this on my legs and on my body after a shower, and then if you can either rub it in or just let it dry. Either way, I prefer it over just spreading lotion on myself. I think it's really convenient and, you know, I hate, I hate moisturizing my body just with my hands and lotion because I think it takes forever. So I really like the notion of being able to spray it on and just kind of walk around and let it dry or just to rub it in if I'm in a hurry. So I use this after the shower, especially on my legs after I shave because that's when my legs need it most. So I will be repurchasing it when I run out of the other two that I have on deck, but this is definitely my favorite way to body moisturize. So I am a huge fan of this stuff and it's fairly cheap, you know, it's drugstore stuff. So love it. The next thing I'm pulling out here is a hair product and it is the Herbal Essences Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray and I absolutely adore this stuff. This is my hairspray of choice. I don't have any expensive hairsprays. I really only buy the drugstore kind because I don't, I don't know, I don't really ever need a fancy hairspray. I just need something that's going to hold and this stuff does that for me. This is a maximum hold hairspray and it claims to be volumizing and I don't know if it really volumizes my hair. I don't ever notice anything amazingly volumizing but I do always buy this one because it smells so good. It smells like mango citrus or something to me and it's just nice and sweet and good but it's not overbearing. I really really like the smell of this and I don't think it's crunchy. I think it is flexible and it holds my hair where it needs to be held so I will be repurchasing this. It is my favorite 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 hairspray and I can't recommend it enough because I just really like it. So holy grail for me and I'll be repurchasing it. The next thing I'm going to plot here is something you've never seen on my channel before and you may not see for a while because I don't use this very often, but it is Revlon Luxurious Color Silk Buttercream Hair Dye. You may notice that recently all the blonde parts that were in underneath my hair are now back to my normal color. I guess my normal color is 301 Dark Brown in this dye because it matches pretty well. So I just went ahead and dyed just the blonde parts brown. The rest of my hair is still my natural color. I just kind of sectioned it off and re-dyed it after it was blonde and then red from the Kool-Aid hair dye. I just wanted to go back to brown. So I used some of this stuff. I bought it at the drugstore. I believe it was right around $10 and it's ammonia free, which is one of the reasons why I purchased it but also it says it has mango shea and coconut butter in it and I, th I thought it was really nice it seemed to repair the damage at least somewhat to the bleachness of my hair it definitely felt very conditioned and soft and nice and it looked less like hay so I was happy about that because that blonde part of my hair had just been dyed so many times from being bleached and then being colored like pink or red or whatever it was that I've done in my past you know like I mentioned I've had that blonde for years now so I was really happy to get back to all one color and it repaired some of the damage to it so I recommend this I liked it a lot and if I ever need to re-dye my hair brown I'll be using this brand. The next thing I'm pulling out of here is the Baptiste dry shampoo and I didn't expect to be doing this this soon because it was full just yesterday and then I dropped it on the floor so this as you can see is um, what happened it fell off my dresser and onto my floor and completely exploded everywhere it spun and just shot dry shampoo like everywhere and got really cold and I was really nervous that it was gonna explode because it is like an aerosol can so I kind of just like stepped back and watched as it exploded all over my walls and so that's something I need to clean up but 
back to like normal review of this. I love this dry shampoo. You guys recommended this to me. I opted for the scent of cool and crisp fresh and it's just the regular white kind. There's no coloring of any kind. So I can say after my last empties video where I talked about the brown Baptiste version, I can say I love this so much more. It is definitely my favorite dry shampoo currently and I am going to repurchase this. I may try another scent that's similar in like a fresh scent kind of thing, but definitely I'm going to stick with this original-esque formula because I think it's amazing. It is a dry shampoo that does not go in sandy. You know, you put it in your hair and then you run it through your hair and you like mix out the white so it doesn't show anymore, but then your hair is soft and clean feeling, you don't get that sandy, sticky texture. You know, there are so many dry shampoos out there that you put them in and then it just feels crispy or sticky or just heavy or something and I hate that. I can't even tell you. I am such a stickler when it comes to dry shampoos. So, I was really happy that this one performed with flying colors and I will be repurchasing this and eventually I will make a dry shampoo video where we talk about all of the ones that I've tried because there are a few more brands that I want to try before I actually reach a legitimate verdict but for right now the Baptiste totally wins in my book. It's so inexpensive and it works really well and I'm very very thankful that you guys convinced me to try it so thank you to all of those who told me to try Baptiste because Baptiste? I've been saying Baptiste this whole time. It's Baptiste. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> moving on. So suffice it to say, I'm looking forward to purchasing another one of these. So the next four items in my empties box are all perfumes, and I don't know if I've talked about perfume as much on my channel, but these are some big ones in my life, so I wanted to talk about them, and it's important because they're all like my favorites, and they're all out. So let's talk about perfumes for a second. The first one I'm going to talk about is a very, very old and true favorite. This is the Pacifica, and I believe the scent is Lotus flower or blossom or something like that. It usually has purple labeling on the front, but as you can see, it's completely gone now. It has been a long time, but it's it started to turn. I've had this for years and now it's yellow. It used to be clear, so this one's pretty much done. I do need to get a new bottle of this. It is one of my very favorite go-to summer scents, so it's also very inexpensive. You know, Pacifica fragrances, I believe, are in the $30, $40 range, if I remember correctly, so extremely inexpensive for a nice perfume. I think this smells amazing, it's very summery, it's very citrusy, and it's a little bit spicy but not in a way that makes it not wearable for summer. This is one of my very favorite summer scents. And now that I'm talking about it, I think I'm going to go order it like today because now I want it. So so yes, Pacifica in Lotus something and it's it's gone. So. The next one I want to talk about is Gucci Guilty, and this I got for my birthday last year, last June. My husband bought this for me as a birthday present. It is almost completely gone now. I can't spray anymore, which is really sad. They really need to reinvent the way they do this so that you can get like every last drop out of this because sometimes it's just really difficult. Are there any tricks out there that I should know about of how to get like the last drips out of a perfume thing because these straws are totally inadequate. This one is one of my very favorite scents, if not my favorite scent. I know it's kind of blinding. I probably need to stop moving it. It's a winter fall scent for me because it's a very spicy scent. It's very heavy and spicy and wonderful and lovely and I absolutely adore it, but for me it's a little too heavy for summer and as summer's approaching, you know, it's getting really hot here, I don't want something this spicy. So I'm going to be moving on to my summer scents, whether that means going back to Pacifica or getting new ones. I like to smell different every day, so I like to have a few in my arsenal. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments what your favorite summer perfume is because I would love to know and I would love to try some new ones. So definitely let me know down below your favorite summer perfumes and let's have a discussion about that. But I will be repurchasing this when winter comes back along, but for a while I'll probably just keep the bottle around because it's pretty. The next one that's empty is Harvey Prince's Temptress and this is a small travel size as you can see. It's a great purse size and I love this but it has turned. I've had it for a while and I feel like it turned really fast but I may have left it in the sun. I am horrible at doing that. So Temptress is a really interesting perfume. It is a perfume that has pheromones in it and also a blend of scents that are attractive to men because science. I bought this one when I started dating my husband because I wanted to be like spicy temptress woman and <laughs> obviously it worked because now I'm married. So this one, it's so interesting because the blend of their scents in it is lavender and pumpkin pie, which sounds like it smells horrible, but I promise you it's super cool. It's a spicy, very sensual scent and it's not really something that you would want to wear in the summer. Although, I mean, I guess you could, but it's definitely too heavy for summer. It's very spicy, and it's 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 just a very strange scent, but I really like it, and he really liked it, and it worked. So, Harvey Prince's Temptress, 
I recommend it, you know, probably shouldn't be used for people that are, you know, young, but <laughs> it's, it's just one of those things that I had to review because it's really funny and I really enjoyed it and it's just really different, so why not? And the last perfume and the last item in my basket, I believe, is the Lady Gaga perfume. And I don't think it has a name. <laughs> Does it have a name? I think it's just Lady Gaga. There's no label or anything. It just has this crazy cap, which makes you know that that's what it is. And this one is actually almost done. There's a little bit left. And I wanted to review this before it was actually gone so that you guys could see the color of the perfume. It boasts to be the first black perfume ever. And it is actually a black liquid. So when you have it full, it's just like a big black bottle. When you spray it, it sprays clear. So it doesn't ever stain clothes or anything of that nature. If it did, that would be really sad, but it doesn't. And it's a blackberry-esque perfume, another spicy perfume. Can you see a theme here? I love spicy perfumes. But this is a spicy blackberry thing. When it came out, there were a lot of rumors that it was supposed to smell like blood, and I don't know if that's true, but I really liked it. And I like that it was black because, let's be serious, I'm all black everything all the time. So I liked having a black perfume, and I really like the scent of it. I don't think I'm going to repurchase it because I haven't missed it, and I haven't worn it in a couple months. So I don't think I'm going to repurchase it, but it was fun while it lasted, so, you know. So guys, that was everything in my empties basket. I'm sure this will be filled again by next month and I'll have another empties for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As I mentioned before, please leave your summary perfume recommendations down below so I may peruse them. And I hope you enjoyed this. Did I say that already? Maybe. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.